pretties it's Angela here and today's video is going to be a video um, of a haul that I've purchased some stuff from um, Hobby Lobby and um, Wendy had post Wendy from Wendy Whitman her YouTube channel here on here she had posted her haul and they were they're having right now in the store they're having like 75% off um, and they're marking things down throughout the whole store and so you just need to look for these reduced your orange tags and like I said they're in all departments um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of show you the um, everything is gonna be pretty much used for my jewelry stuff but I just wanted to kind of get the displays and I bought some jewelry displays and things for setting up and then I'll go ahead and show you the jewelry actual like jewelry stuff from the beading aisle but um she had posted her haul and I was like so excited when I was saw some of the stuff that she got and the prices that I told her I said, I'm gonna I'm, I'm running over to Michael's now well I went to my local uh not Michael's I'm sorry my local Hobby Lobby and um a lot of the stuff like the alcohol inks that I use for resin was not marked down yet so my husband and I took a ride to another Hobby Lobby that's about 45 minutes from us and um, they were they had marked it down so I was lucky enough to get quite a few packs I ended up getting 15 different colored packs so I'm just gonna kind of run through this real quick um, this was the alcohol blending solution. It's a nice size bottle. It's regular $5.99 and it was on sale for $1.49. So I picked that up. Um, and then like I said, I picked up one pack of each color that they had available. There was 15 different packs. And like I said, I'll go ahead and run through them right quick. Uh, because I know some, I don't know if, you know, everybody's going to be interested in this or not, but it is for jewelry related items um it is going to be from some resin pendants and things that i'm going to be making with resin but these typically are 11.99 for three bottles okay so that's four dollars a bottle basically they're on sale right now for 2.99 and again call your hobby lobby and check because like i said mine here was not marked down yet now whether they will or not in the coming week i'm not sure um i may check back with them during the week and see because the, the one that's close to me is only like maybe five minutes from my house. It's not far. Okay, so let me just go ahead and see. I can't read all the colors. Um, it doesn't say on the back. But this is like a green, kind of like a burnt orange. The green is called um, Bottle. This one's called Denim or Denim Blue. This one's called Valencia Limeade and Turquoise. So an orange, a green, and a blue. Turquoise blue. This one is, ooh, I love these, Cobalt, Vineyard, and Boysenberry. So some blues and purples. This one is Ember, Sienna, and Dijon. So some yellows and oranges. This one is called, I can't see what that's called. I don't know what this yellow is, but it's like a yellow. Um, can't see that. I think it's a reddish orange. And then uh, Pistachio, which is all green. This one is Honeycomb, Botanical, and Poppy Field, so yellow, green, and red. This one is Gumball, Fiesta, and Rosewood, so some pinks and browns. This one is, I can't read that one, Aquamarine and Sepia, so it looks like a red, a blue, and a brown. This one is Sunshine, Sunshine Yellow, Sunset Orange, and Purple Twilight. This one is mushroom, red pepper, and oregano. <laughs> like the color, food, food colors. Okay, uh, moss, mojito, and everglades. So three greens, three different tones of green. Pool, pink sherbet, and espresso. So you have like a blue, a pink, and a brown. Indigo, mermaid, and teakwood. So some blue, some um, teal, and brown. Flamingo, Patina, and Amethyst. So pink, a greenish teal, and a purple. And the last one was Watermelon, Citrus, and Sailboat Blue. Alright, so those were all the alcohol inks that I got. And again, like I said, by them being on sale, it makes it a dollar a bottle versus four. So you pretty much get four packs for the price of one regular then I did find two of these um, small kits of resin. I wish they would have had more. I would have bought more. Um, but they had two boxes left. And these were regular 
$11.99 and they were on sale for $2.99 and I'll open it up to show you. They're small bottles but for $2.99 that's a really good price and it is like the one part the uh, one to one and it is the resin and the hardener so you get a bottle of each and it is actually two fluid ounces. So if you're doing small projects, I mean, that'll last you a little while. So that was nice. I was happy to find those. And then this kit, um, they had one of these. It was regular $24.99, and it was on sale for $6.24. And it comes with 29 pieces. It says here on the box, 29 pieces, which is they give you three alcohol inks, one metallic mixative, one mini blending solution, um, one mini distress ink pad, one clear stamp set, an acrylic block, um, an ink applicator tool with 10 felt pieces, and let's see, five sheets of alcohol ink cardstock, and one technique booklet. So it was pretty cool. Um, I think everything's in here when I opened it up because it was kind of like the box was a little kind of messed up when I was looking at it, but it was like, I think everything is in here. So they, like I said, they had three bottles of alcohol ink, red pepper, what's this one? Current and sunshine yellow. And then they have a gold mixative, the um, gold metallic. And they also had the little bottle of the blending solution, which is what I got that big bottle for $1.49. They had the stamp with the felt pads that came in there. They had the distressing, the distressed black ink pad. They had the little booklet that kind of tells you about alcohol ink techniques. It came with the acrylic stamping block thing. It came with um, a sheet of the stamps. These are really pretty too. They have the butterflies and they have the trees. And I saw somebody um, on YouTube, and I don't remember who it was because I just started looking at like some. She was doing some. What was she doing? Um, I think she was making cards actually, which I don't know how I ended up watching watching that but whatever <laughs> but she was using the tops of trees for like seaweed underneath the ocean like she was just having like the tips of it she was stamping it i don't know it's really cool and then here's the little cardstock so like i said it seemed like everything was in there but um i was happy to get the bottles of the alcohol ink and the mixative and a metal for 624 i thought that was a great thing and the, and the little stamp um stamper was nice so, and then, let's see, I got a few more things that are not, like, strands and jewelry related. Um, I mean, they're jewelry related, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, these were a set of three necklace displays, and it has a tan color, a gray color, and a black. So, there's three of them. It was regular $9.99. They were on sale for $2.49. So, that's, like, amazing so i got two sets of these so now i have uh, six displays six more displays and i like the fact that i have different colors because sometimes you enjoy like i had to i just had my black necklace display and sometimes it, depending on what color jewelry you had it doesn't show up against the black so i was really happy to find those because i had been looking on wish to try to order some and um, i have a couple of them coming in but i don't know how, how great they'll be <laughs> Anyway, now I opened these up because I was using these also as displays. So I was go fixing to leave the store and I was walking down the party aisle. And I guess this was kind of like by the wedding stuff. And these were clipboards with stands. And these are the small ones. And I don't know how much they were regular. Let me see if I can pull this back. They were regular $7.99. And they were on sale for $1.99. And then you get six of these little clipboards with stands. And so this is really cute for if you want to clip on, like, if I have a pair of earrings here on my earring card and I want to take a picture and it doesn't want to stand up on its own, you can kind of prop it up a little bit. So, um, also for, like, bracelets and things like that. So I figured these would help be able to display some stuff. So I got the smaller ones, and you got six in the package. And then I also got these larger metal ones and there was a uh, six count stands and they're longer i know it's kind of hard to get it all in the frame and these were regular 9.99 and they were on sale for 3.99 and you get six of these as well and let me see if i can get this in the shot let me lift y'all up just a little bit so you can kind of see how big it is 
nice size. Um, and so, yeah, so you can, I figure I can display a necklace or um, other things like that. So, I'm probably more so for necklaces. And I may even spray paint um, a couple of them and maybe distress them. I'm not sure yet how I'll do that. But I, I think I do want a white one. So, I may try to spray paint one and see how it comes out. But again, it'll give me some extra displaying pieces to display jewelry. So I got those. I thought those were really cool. Um, and then the only other thing that I got that is not necessarily jewelry related. Um, I used my Cricut. Let me see if I can just kind of, again, lift y'all up a little bit. So I got my Cricut um, mats. And they were regular price is $17.99. And they were on sale for $4.49. And I did get one of the light grip and one of the strong grip. And I use my light blue one all the time. Um, I was just making some a little while ago for my earring cards. I make my own earring cards. And I use my Cricut. So I cut them out on those mats. So I was really happy because Cricut doesn't usually put a lot of their stuff on sale. Um, I know you don't want to look at an empty table. <laughs> Cricut doesn't usually put a lot of their stuff on sale very often. And you can't usually use coupons uh, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of the places like that um, for Cricut products. So I was really, really happy to find those because they are like 18 to 20 bucks a piece. So let me get all this picked up. And then I'll come back and I'll show you all of the jewelry stuff I bought. And it's a lot. <laughs> but the prices were really, really good. So stay with me. Okay, I'm back. And so um, I kind of have everything like all over my desk here. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go through what I found. And the first thing I'm going to go through is some acrylic beads and some wooden beads. Um, <clears throat> I thought that these were really, really nice faux um turquoise they are just acrylic uh, acrylic beads and um but they're really really nice i mean i thought the quality was really pretty and they were only 99 cents they were regular 3.99 on sale for 99 cents so i thought these would be nice uh larger focal pieces um and they got some nice oval shapes some round ones anyway i thought that was a really good deal and they looked really nice so i said i'll go ahead and pick those up <clears throat> excuse me now I did pick up these um these are plastic and the reason I got them was because they look really nice and they were regular $7.99 reduced down to $1.99 but a lot of them have the bigger holes in them and I bought these for um my beaded pins because I, I when I went to do and I have a tutorial on these um, and I should be getting some more in to put in my Facebook group soon. They should be coming in, I think, the end of February. So they should be in hopefully any day now. But um, <clears throat> some more colors. Because I think I only have one color left in my Facebook group. So I noticed when I went to do my pins that I didn't have a lot of big hole beads. Especially in like silver tones and stuff. So I picked these up with that intention in mind. And um, like I said... They really look nice. I like the design on a lot of them. They have kind of like the melon bead design, some elongated ones, some flowers, a rose. Anyway, I thought that was a really good deal. They were $8 marked down to $1.99. <clears throat> I picked up these. are also plastic, but I thought they were really pretty. They look like the um, they're metallic coated. And they almost remind me of like the hematite, um, the coated hematite beads. So they were regular $2.99, marked down for $0.74. Cents. Uh, I, you know, you can't beat that. And I think they're really pretty. This would also be really pretty inside of something made with resin, like a resin piece of jewelry, and put this on the inside of it. <clears throat> so that's really neat. So I got a pack of those. I did pick up two packs of these um, to also work with resin, but then also just to make earrings. I thought they were really cute. They were regular $2.99 also and marked down to $0.74. Cents, and they're blues and greens. And they have the little seahorses and the little snail shells. Some starfish. Um, so yeah, I thought these were really, really cute. One pack had more of the blues. And then this pack had more of the green seahorses and stuff. So I got one of each. I got two packs. Um, <clears throat> Alright, and then I cannot clear my throat for nothing today. Sorry, guys. 
So then I did pick up some wood beads, and because they were so cheap, I couldn't, I just couldn't pass them up. So they had these kind of like little wooden spacer discs, and they were a dollar ninety-nine, marked down to forty-nine cents. And there's three colors in there. There's like a dark wood, a light wood, and I guess a light, medium, and dark. <clears throat> so I picked up two packs of those. They're little twelve by four millimeter. They call them wafer wood beads. And there's 40 pieces in each pack. So 80 pieces for a dollar, basically, is what it was. <clears throat> All right, and then I got some little eight millimeter rounded cube wood beads. There's 50 pieces in this bag, and it's kind of like the medium tone um, for 49 cents. So I picked up a bag of those. And then I picked up a bag of these 15 pieces, 14 millimeter, again, in that medium type wood almost going to the darker, but um, medium to dark. They were $1.99, also marked down to 49 cents. A lot of their wood beads were marked down to 49 cents. Now I got these and I, I already have something in mind for these. I bought these to make a rosary. <clears throat> I definitely want to make a rosary with these. They have, it's the lighter wood, the natural wood, and they have the crosses kind of like burnt out, etched into them, so to speak. And so you got, uh, it says 12 grams. They didn't say exactly how many pieces, but um, I went ahead, they had four packs left, and I went ahead and picked those up because I thought, what a really nice, um, it's lightweight and it's gender neutral. So, I mean, like a, a man could use this or, or a young gentleman could use this uh, just as easily as a female. So I picked up two packs of those and I'm thinking, I'm definitely going to do a rosary. So, anyway, um, definitely be a tutorial with those making a rosary. I love those. I thought those were really, really pretty. All right, so next thing. Uh, oh, and these are some acrylic and wood beads. <clears throat> so, these are a wood bead mix. And I thought they were beautiful. They have, it almost looks like the graining, like wood grain. And this is like in the, almost like a turquoise color really really pretty and then they have some of that natural wood color I thought those were really really pretty I only got one pack they were regular $8.99 marked down to $2.24 but I thought those were really pretty this would be a really nice focal piece so yeah I got a pack of these I'm thinking as I'm looking at them I'm like I'm, I know what I'm gonna do <laughs> all right and then these are this is an acrylic bead mix so again, they're not glass, they are acrylic, but I thought they were really nice. They have a lot of pretty faceting on these beads. They could be used as focals. I thought these were really pretty. Um, they're like a, let me see if I can get a little bit better picture. They're like a greenish color and they have gold on them. I thought those were really nice. But they have a nice little mix in there. They have some of the more the greenish tone turquoise and then some of the bluish tone turquoise. So I kind of thought these together looked pretty. <clears throat> to pick up some of those blues and greens in these wood beads. So not maybe not necessarily using them together, but they do work. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these up here out of the way a little bit. And then we're going to move on to some seed beads. I was shocked. Now these are not, you know, high quality seed beads. They are on the lower, you know, quality side as far as like they're not Miyuki or Toho or anything like that. So you're going to have some irregularities, but what I like these for is spacers in necklaces. Sometimes you just want to put a couple of little seed beads in between, um, especially like when you're doing the uh, rosary bracelets and you don't want to take up a whole lot of room, but you want to differentiate where the beads are. So these come in real handy. So I got a tube of the, um, I'm sure it's a regular silver, maybe a galvanized silver or... Um, I think it's the galvanized silver. And they were regular $6.99. And it was marked down to $1.24. So I could not pass them up. Now, I think these are 12 O's. Which is, you know, again, it's not your typical 11 O. But it's, it's really, really close. And for spaces, it really doesn't matter. So these, and then you get 114 grams. That is a big tube of seed beads for... $1.24. So I got them in the galvanized silver. I got them in an antique brass for $1.24. Now these say they were $4.99. And 
and then I got them in so I got two in the antique brass and I got one in, I think that was all they had left and then these were a size this is the antique silver and I'm trying to see what size this one was let's see this is a 12 oh yeah so these are all 12 O's and this is um, an antique silver so it's a little it's not as bright as this silver here you can kind of see you can even use this as a gunmetal it looks closer to gunmetal to me but um you know i don't know but these were all a dollar 24 each and then i got a couple of tubes of the six o's again for space beads um you can do bead weaving with them and you know it just it's not going to lay as perfectly as like delicas or something like that but you can definitely use them and these are regular $4.99 marked down to $1.24. These are six O's. I got them in that um, antique silver and the antique brass. Okay. So that's those. Let me move those off to the side. All right. Let me go through the strands next. Move them on over. So I got a couple of strands of this chain. I thought it was really pretty. Um, in Wendy's video, she got a lot more chain than I wasn't able to find some of them. I, I could say I might go try to pass back during a week. It's just hard with working and stuff, but I may try to pass by. But this is a 30 inch in length, and it was $1.49. And I love the big links. I love those big links. It said antique copper. And so I got two strands of those. I found it, no, these were different. Okay, so then I found these in the, um, it is the big hold, it's pretty much the same chain, but um, this one is 18 inches long. So you don't get as much, but it does have a ring in the middle and a lobster claw clasp. Now, I probably won't use it that way. I will probably take it apart, but you get a lobster claw out of it up there and as well as there. So you do get two lobsters. Um, so I ended up getting one in silver, one in um, brass, and I got two in the gold. Two in the gold. And I love that this is really good for charm bracelets, charm necklaces, anything like that that you need big holes for. Also, extended chain. It makes a really good extended chain at the back of a necklace if you're wanting to give um, the option of an additional length. All right, and then I found some, uh, oh wait, this is some more chains. Let me go through all the chains first. I found these were regular $4.99, marked down to $1.49. Love these links. Let me see if I can, I got a lot going on in the background. Let's see. All right, so I love these links. They have a really pretty texturing to them. It looks like, it's almost like it's stamped. Really pretty. So this chain would be really good to use in a multi-layer necklace or um, you can even take it apart if you wanted to. I have two of them and use these as separate connectors and put something in between like use the round ones but put like a different link of beads in the middle. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You don't have to just use it as is. All right, now this, I will tell you, I'll probably use as is because I just fell in love with it. Um, it almost reminds me of like a motorcycle chain. And it is, it was $5.99 marked down to $1.49. And it already does have a clasp and it does have uh, the jump ring. Now, I will say it is about one link. It is about one link too long for me. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I can hook it on to right here. And so I will have, I bought two because I will have two extra pieces when I take those off. And so then I thought, okay, well, I'll have these links and I can make them into earrings to match my bracelet. So that's my plan for these because I really like them how they are. But again, you could take these apart and use this with some beads on top, beads on, you know, use these as connectors with different stations of beads in the middle. You could definitely do that as an option, but I like it just how it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove one link off of each one of those bracelets and make me an earring. Then I found, I came across this really beautiful strand. Uh, it was regular, I think $7.99 and it was marked down to $1.99. It's like that Aurora coated, almost looks like a pink, pinkish purple, fuchsia, I don't know. 
more purple than fuchsia, but really, really pretty. And I thought these would make really pretty earrings uh, wire wrapped. You could wire wrap those points. So yeah, I like them. I think they're really pretty. So I picked up that strand. These also were really pretty. I don't know what the original price was on these. $4.99 and it was marked down to $1.49. But they're like nuggets of Druzy nuggets. And they look like a turquoise, a greenish turquoise color. And you can see little pockets of Druzy in those nuggets. So I thought those were really, really pretty. Okay, so I picked up one strand like that. I picked up two strands of these. Um, these are hematite. They were regular $4.99, marked down to $1.29, and they look like little flower beads, but in the middle of that, you can see that wire or that strand running through it. You can put a crystal in between there, and it would look really pretty, and you can do multi-colored crystals and have like a, you know, a rainbow inside the hematite, or you could do, you know, red and have like a red and black. But you can put different crystals. Um, and I think a bicone, and I'm thinking probably maybe a four millimeter, maybe it might have to be a three, but you could play with it a little bit. And I think the bicone would look really pretty in the shape of that. So that's really cool. I bought two strands of those. I bought a strand of these. Um, this one was originally. $5.99 marked down to 99 cents. I love that it was three strands in one package for 99 cents. And they are glass beads. They remind me of a um, uh, rutilated quartz gemstone. It looks like it has that rutilated quartz feel to it. So I thought those were really, really pretty. And like I said, they're glass beads, 99 cents. You get three strands in three different sizes. It looks like a four, six, and an eight. Then I picked up two of these. They were regular $3.99, marked down to $0.99. Cents, the beautiful coral beads. And it was a really pretty shade of that red coral. So I thought those were really, really nice. I like those a lot. So I got two strands of those. And then this is another one that I just really, I don't know, I just really liked the colors. I liked the shape. And so I'll probably keep it just as it is. It was a dollar. It was regular $6.99, marked down to $1.74. But it goes from the dark to light. It goes from like a dark cranberry down to the pinks to the blue, green, yellow, and a white. And I thought that was just pretty the way it is. <laughs> so I'll probably just go ahead and put me a clasp on it and call that a day. I really like that one. The next thing I picked up was this strand of really pretty, pretty barrel beads. Excuse me. And um, they were $7.99, marked down to $1.99. And it has that really pretty, like a vitrell coating to it. You can see all the blues and yellows and purples and greens. And look at the cutting on them. It's like an etched diamond cutting all the way around those beads. They are really, really pretty. Very sparkly, beautiful colors. It plays off, the light plays off of them incredibly. So, it was two strands, and they're pretty long strands for $1.99, so I figured that was, like, getting a dollar a strand for those. So, I thought those were really nice. I got one strand of those. These are, I'm not even sure what kind of bees these are, but they love the little, um, heishi beads, and they look like little gemstones. I don't know if they are or not. They were 99 cents, regular $3.99. It doesn't say on their stickers unless it's under here. Um, let me see if it says... Yeah, it's shell. It's just shell bead. But I thought the colors were really pretty. Kind of some earth tone, neutral colors. Good for little space beads. It was only 99 cents. And then these are the little heishi uh, beads. And these are like the little clay beads. But I thought, again, the colors were very fall inspired. The yellows, browns, oranges. And they were 99 cents. Regular $2.99. That's a very long strand of those because you get two. So it's a lot to work with. It kind of almost gives me a safari feel. I don't know if y'all um, think that as well. Maybe leave me some comments. It uh, kind of reminds me of like a tiger or a giraffe. The coloring. Those browns, oranges, and yellows. 
interesting idea. All right, so that was all of the strands. Then um, I did get a few more little smaller tubes of um, beads in the tubes, like the little, not really seed beads, but these are um, twisted bugle beads. And this one is a size five, and they were regular $2.99, and they were marked down to $0.74. Cents. So I was like, you know what? Sometimes you're just looking for bugle beads, and this is the longer size. This is a twisted black. Let me see if I can, if it's, I don't know if the black's really going to show up even in my hand any better, but um, I'll try. <laughs> but they are kind of like a twisted, they can kind of see it. And they're a longer size. And the little bugle beads. So for 74 cents, I, you, you can't beat that, right? And then I got them in, these are the size three. So these are a little bit shorter. And these are in a um, like a bluish color, an aqua blue, and these were 74 cents as well. So you can see that these are a little bit smaller in size, but you can see that twisted effect on those bugle beads better on the blue. So I thought those were really pretty. Now, a lot of the um, seed beads and bugle beads were not marked down. In everything, in every category, they have some things that are marked down and a lot of stuff that's not. So you just have to look for those orange stickers. All right, and then I got two tubes of the paisley duos and these were $5.99 a tube these little suckers are usually very expensive $5.99 a tube for a small little tube and they were on sale for $1.49 so I picked up the um, 8x5 millimeter paisley duos they're two whole beads and I got them in this um, it's called bronze aluminum they're a silver they're silver and they look like little paisleys and they are the two hole beads you see that on the side so I got them in the silver and I got them in this really pretty because I figured they would work together it's uh I think it's called silver splash and they're white a white background with that silver metallic wash on top so I figured those in a design would be really, really pretty worked together. Whoops. So I'm going to have to look up some um, patterns and see what I can do with those. Then I got two tubes of, these are called, let me see what they're called. I don't want to tell you the wrong ones. They look like little kites to me. I want to see, are they gem duos or, let's see. They were $1.49, regular $5.99. They are called... Well, diamond, wait, hold up. I don't want to tell you wrong, because, you know, gem, yeah, gem duos. I thought that's what they were, but I wasn't positive. All right, so these are gem duos. They look like little kites to me. This color is, oh boy. <laughs> I kind of had that up, didn't I? All right, uh, black, backlit utopia. They're really pretty. Oh, I keep dropping things, but that's nothing unusual. So these have like a vitrelle coating on the inside. The back is silver. Super pretty. You can see all those blues, greens, the purples, the golds. And those are uh, two whole beads as well. Try to see if I can get it to show you. But there's a hole at the top and the bottom. They look like little kites. Um, so I got that color in those. And these were $1.49 a two as well. Kind of those specialty two hole beads were $1.49, but that's not bad because they're normally six bucks a tube. And then this one, I don't know the color, but it looks, it reminded me of Sodalite. It reminded me of Gemstone. Those are really pretty blues with like a little, um, like speckles of, I don't know, like a wash, almost like a Picasso color too, but it reminded me of Sodalite. So I picked those up, and you know I love blue, so I had to get those. All right, and then let me move on to these. This is their fairy tale collection. So I found a few pieces um, that were on sale that I did like. This I thought was really pretty, and I thought it would be a really pretty bracelet bar. It has the moon in the background with the trees, and it's just a, a bar connector. And it was a re uh, regular price, $3.49, marked down for $0.87. Cents. Love that. So I thought that was really, really pretty. So I picked that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I got two bags of these little fairies. 
I thought they were adorable. And they have, she has some little crystals. She's holding a crystal in each hand. Probably very hard to see that on film. But you get four pieces for 99 cents. And those are a fairly nice um, size charm. You can see it, the size of it in my hand. I mean, like this, really a nice size. So, they were regular $3.99, marked down to $0.99. Cents. So, I had two packs of those. I thought those were really cute. I found this acrylic um, whale's tail, and I thought it was beautiful. It was regular $3.99, marked down to $0.99. Cents. It's extremely lightweight because it is acrylic, and it has, like, blues and purples and greens. I thought that was really pretty. So, I picked that one up. And then, this I thought was different and kind of neat. It was $4.99, marked down to $1.24, and it's a little cage, and it opens. You just, it's got a little latch right here, and it opens up. So you could put, I thought about putting like, um, bicone, maybe like 8 millimeter or 12 millimeter, and put like my, my birthstone, my husband, and my two boys in there, and close it up, and make a necklace out of that, and make that the focal point. But you can put all kind of stuff. You can put lava beads in here, with essential oil dropped on your lava beads, and wear that like that. So I thought that was cute. Move that over. Then I think I only got one piece from this um, gilded time. I don't know what it's called, but gilded or something. But these were the little kind of like whale tails. They were $4.99 marked down to $1.24. And I um, actually like them. I think I would probably use them this way. And have some kind of dangle drop down tassel and use chain or bead a necklace on each side of that but you could certainly use it as a double strand necklace and put them you know this way and have a two strand necklace um or you could do even a four you could do something shorter and then hang chain a little bit longer and you could have four strands off of that and just put two on each ring but anyway, these are really cool. Um, yeah, I think these are really neat. So, mine is working on those. <laughs> Alright, and then these I thought were just pretty as is. I'll probably just make me a pair of earrings. I got two packs of them because I figured I could make a necklace with the other one as a drop. Um, it would be a really pretty lariat style necklace. But it has, it, these were $6.99, and they were marked down to $1.74, and it has the gears. It's kind of like that um, steampunk. It's got the gears and, like, the watch clock pieces, and then it's got a really pretty um, little crystal dangling down here, and the other piece, the other hand for the clock, the other clock hand. So I like these just how they are. I'll probably just put a pair of ear wires on these and make a necklace to match it. So I thought those were super pretty. It was I don't know if I said that. They were $6.99 marked down to $174. This is the only one I got from this collection. It's called Hello Happy. It was $4.99 marked down to $124. But I love what it says. It says, um, you, let's see, wait. Oh, yeah. You are exactly where you need to be. I thought that was precious. And it's going that way and that way and that way. <laughs> But it says you are exactly where you need to be. So for $1.24, I was like, that is really precious. I thought that was so cute. All right. And then, let's see. Then I went to the Charmed area. And then they had these. And they had two packages of them. So I got two because I said I can use these as, it looks like they have little connectors. Um, it looks like they have dragonflies, butterflies, bees. There's one that's patinaed. Um really nice mix and so i figured if i had the two packs they only had two packs left i figured if i had both packs that would be great because i could do earrings or i could do some misconnectors or whatever but um they were regular 9.99 and they were marked down to 249 and you get 15 pieces in each little container so that's 30 pieces 30 charms and stuff and these look like they're a nice a nice way let me um open one up so you can kind of see oh goodness a cinnamon opening okay <laughs> all right let's see i want you to see them and i kind of want to feel to see let's see oh yeah oh there we go dropping things okay luckily it didn't um go on the floor these are really really nice these are definitely a nice um quality 
they're not real thin they have a nice weight to them uh, oh look at that bee look how detailed it is it's even got the little antennas that kind of poke up those are cool this is the one that's patinaed the butterfly that's beautiful that is really really pretty I like that this is the one it looks like a um, a shiny copper and it has the loops on both sides that would make a really pretty dainty necklace you could uh, string it on both sides of that really pretty so yeah they have a bunch of oh, this is another one with the two loops these are really really pretty I like these a lot so yeah so I, that's definitely a good find I'm glad they had two of them that gives me a lot more options as to how I'm gonna use them all right so I'm gonna go ahead and move these off to the side and then I let's see I have some more charmed pieces these I bought three of the little um, owls they were regular 249 marked down to 62 cents and they're little gold owls and they have little Aurora Borealis eyes I thought they were really cute. So I figured, you know, a pair of earrings and a little charm on a bracelet, like in the back or um, a dangling off the back of a bracelet. Really, really cute. I got three of those. And then I bought two packs of these. Again, I bought two because I figured earrings. Um, they have one is a B, and these are really pretty. They were regular $7.99. Marked down to one ninety nine, and they have little crystals in all of them. Like these have the little bitty, uh, like kind of like a topaz crystal on the four corners, and that really pretty bead that's raised up. They have a butterfly with the pretty. It almost looks like glitter, and some little rhinestones off to the side in blue. They have, and those are silver. This looks like an antique. I mean, this looks like a brass with the clear rhinestone in the middle and like little bitty baby pearls going around that circle. And then this looks like a, a, a vitrell crystals and these little green tassels. Now, if you don't like the tassels, you could obviously take that off and use that as a connector link, which would be very pretty. Um, I kind of like the green tassels. It brings out the green from the vitrell. So I bought two cards. That way I would have sets if I want to make earrings with them. Okay, so I got those. So those are really pretty. And let's see. Let me go to the Poetics. This was their Poetic Spirit line. And I found two pair of these. They were regular $4.99, marked down to $1.24, and um, this, I'm not going to leave these like this, but um, you certainly could take off these bottom, which I will take off these bottom pieces. And I'm thinking a multi-strand necklace would be really, really pretty, and you can use the other pair for earrings, so you can have matching earrings if you like, you know, if you've got two sets of them, but um, I'm thinking you could bead off of this hole here and do a three strand necklace so that's what my original thought was when I saw these now we'll, we'll end up with you just never know because you know creative process your mind just change your mind <laughs> but these were $4.99 marked down to $1.24 all right this I thought was really really pretty it was regular $9.99 marked down to $2.49 and I love that beautiful rainbow metallic i don't know what you call it titanium i think it's the titanium coating and it's, you see all those purples blues golds greens just beautiful and it does have that pave of the black crystals at the top and i was really surprised i looked it over just to make sure because i know sometimes they do tend to lose crystals this one at the moment has them all <laughs> so it was really nice so you do have to kind of be careful you can probably coat this with a clear nail polish and it might help them stay in. So I probably will do that before I uh, wear it because I know that I've had pieces like that that I've bought from jewelry shows and some of the little stones have fallen out. But this piece, you know what, and then I also, if it does eventually, um, if it did have some that fell out and you didn't want to wear it like that, you could always do a really big messy wire wrap above that and kind of cover it up. You know, so there's ways of repurposing the stone if that happens. But I thought that was really pretty for $2.49. And then on the tip of it, you can see a lot of the purples coming through. 
purples and blues. Really pretty piece. I like that one a lot. All right, and then let's see. This was their traditions section, and I got a few pieces from that. Um, I love the pelican. Being here from Louisiana, and, you know, Florida leaves pelicans. Um, it just spoke to me when I saw it. <laughs> it was regular three ninety nine, marked down to ninety nine cents, and I thought he would be really pretty on a necklace. So he's really cute. And then I found this, and I really like this. And I was going to get two to make earrings and just leave them like they are because they're beautiful. But for me, these are just slightly too long. And now I could have, I guess I could, I didn't even think about that. But I could have cut the chain and just brought those pieces up and it wouldn't have been as long. But oh well. I probably didn't need it. <laughs> but this would be really pretty for a necklace. And it has um, the little like disco ball um, encrusted with the rhinestones. It has a little seahorse. It has the cup chain hanging down in the clear crystal. It has a little seashell and it has a little wire wrapped like faux turquoise piece all on a twisted jump ring up here. So I thought it made a really nice focal. It was regular $4.99 marked down to $1.24. And then I found these really, really pretty ones. Again, I like this just how it is. Um, I bought two because I was thinking earrings and a matching pendant for the necklace. This is beautiful shell beads. And they're um, kind of cut out with the leaf design. You can see that it is scored and etched in to that beautiful shell. Now, I don't know if these are abalone or just shell. I don't think they're abalone. Yeah, they're just mother of pearl shell pendants. 20 by 50. But I love that they already have the really pretty cluster of crystals and pearls at the top. These are beautiful. They were $5.99 marked down to $1.49. Love those. Love, love, love. All right. And then, let's see. What's next? What's next? Um, let me go to... Well, I found... Okay, let me show you these. <laughs> so, then I found... So, I went over to the findings area. And I found... Um, these findings, which let me show you these first. These are really awesome, and I wish they would have had more. I bought four packs of them. There's the four packs. I bought one, two, three, and four. They were regular $3.99, marked down to $1.24. These are earring jackets. So this front part of the earring goes in the front part of your ear, and then the back of it, you put it behind your ear. So it it's really cool. Um, let me know if you've seen these before. These are really awesome. I love earring jackets. So you can put all kinds of things hanging down and it will hang in the back side of your ear and the post goes in the front. Really cool. So what I thought was I was going to the register and they had these really pretty um, little encrusted to clay. I guess it's like a polymer clay and they're encrusted with the little crystals and they had a pink, a brown, um, a turquoise, red, green and a teal like a darker teal blue they were $9.99 and they were marked down to $2.74 but I thought to myself when I saw them I'm like how perfect would that be to switch out with these um, silver posts so you can have two looks and then like if you did something with red beads you could wear the red post and the earring so I kind of got these to go to mix with these too but I really like earring jackets I think they're really pretty then I got, uh, I just got one of these. It was uh, two pieces. Um, they're 18 karat gold plated magnetic clasp. And there's two of them in there. They were regular $3.99 marked down to 99 cents. I like magnetic clasp. They're easy. <laughs> and then I picked these up because they were regular $3.99 marked down to 99 cents. You get a hundred pieces of them, which will probably take me quite a while to use because I don't always use these when I use the lobster claws or spring ring clasp. Uh, not necessarily lobster claw, but if you use the spring ring clasp, um, these are nice to finish it off and gives it a nice look. It's still little eyelets, and this is an eight millimeter size. Um, they were 99 cents a pack for 100 pieces, and I got that bright, shiny, kind of coppery rose gold field and the um, gunmetal. So, I think in my, when I bought the uh, Boss's Bead Bags for $5, I had got, let me see, I had got a bunch of the, um, let me see if I can find them, a bunch of these packages of, let's see, 
You know how when you want to find something, you can't find it. Let's see. Here they are. Okay. So, I had gotten a bunch of these in with the Boss's bead bags. And so, they are the shiny copper. And I was like, perfect. I have like, I think, three or four packages of these. And there's 36 in each one. So, I probably should have picked up another one. But that's okay. It'll take me a long time. I don't use spring ring clasps all that much. However, for 99 cents, and I knew I had all of those um, spring rings, this will finish off a piece really nicely. Alright, so I got those. And then I found these really cool things. Um, they, I got three of them. They are 8-inch bracelets. Of course, you can adjust that. All you got to do is, you know, take the, one of the rings off and make it whatever size you need it. But they were $2.99 originally, marked down to $0.99. Cents. And you can glue cabochons. You can glue flat-back rhinestones. Um, you can do resin pieces. And so I thought these were really neat. So I got three of those. And then I went over to the metal gallery section. And I found these. I thought these were really pretty. These are in an antique copper. They were regular $4.99. Marked down to $1.24. And my thought process was to clip off these rings. And you and kind of um, use them as connectors. And you can attach it in between the holes. It is open. Let's see if I can get you to be able to see that. In between each circle, you can see my finger behind it. You can bead on each side. You can add a jump ring on each side. You can, um, you know, crimp it off if you have a wire going on each side, depending on how you use them as a connector. But I figured that's how I, my time, that's what my mind went to when I saw these was using them as some kind of connector and a necklace. So I got three packs of those. Then, let's see, I found two of these, which I thought were really, really cool. They are like an old time pocket watch with all everything removed out the inside. And they are magnetic. Let's see if I can <laughs> open it. Okay, so they're magnetic, right? And so I was thinking to kind of make it as like a time capsule with resin. So you, I could resin in here. Now I can also use gears and make it look like the pieces are floating in there. Um, I can make it an ocean scene. I can make it whatever. Whatever the person you're making it for or whatever kind of design. You could do a fairy theme. Um, but anyway, that was my thoughts when I saw it. I was like, oh, I can resin up to that lip and then it'll magnetic close and I thought it was really cool. For 99 cents, I'll give it a try. Um, I'm kind of excited to try that. <laughs> and then, let's see, I found these. I thought these were really pretty. They have, and I love, love the fact that they're mixed metals. I bought three of these uh, for earrings and then charms, necklace, bracelet, however I want to do it. But I thought that these were really lovely the way they mix the gold, the silver, and the antique copper. Love that. Now, if you are not an antique copper type person, but you do like the silver and gold, just take that off and use the charms. These charms are beautiful. Um, I always have a silver ring on this hand and my gold wedding set on this hand. I wear more silver now, but, um, you know, 24 years ago, I was wearing yellow gold, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that this has all three. And so, um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet with these. But I do like that they have the three colors. So, I thought those were really pretty. And then I found this medal that says, You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Thought that was a really nice metal. It's of nice weight. It's very substantial. It's not thin. It's not going to bend or anything. And it looks textured. It was three ninety nine, marked down at ninety nine cents. And I love the saying. Absolutely love the saying. It does look hammered, like a hammered metal. Really pretty. Love that. Then I found this. 
and I thought this was really cool. Again, you do have to watch with those rhinestones falling out. I've had pieces that have done that. Um, but this was a regular $6.99 marked down to $1.74. And I love the look of this. It looks almost like um, dichroic glass or a faux opal. But I thought it was really nice. So for $1.74, I said that would be a really pretty focal piece. And then last but not least, I found this little swallow. I thought he was really cute. He's really pretty. Um, It was regular... Let me see how much this was. This is um, a pen. Let's see. It was regular $10. And it was marked down to $2.49. It's a pen. But you can very easily bead through that pen... Um, you can clip this off of the back of the pen. You can clip the little pen part off. And I'm sure you could glue some kind of bail attachment. Um, I would probably put it closer down here so that it would hang, hang right on your neck. If you used it as, um, a necklace. But if you just want a really pretty brooch or a really pretty pen... This is beautiful. It has the blue crystals. It's all really encrusted with different crystals. It's got the black here in the wings. It has the blue. It has the little red eye. And then it has like these um, aurora coated crystals back here. Really, really pretty. I wish they would have had more pins marked down to $249. But they had this one. They had one that was like a little basket of flowers. Which was, eh, it wasn't really my, my thing. Um, and then they had one that was cool, but I, I just didn't know what to do with it. It looked like, um, it looked like an upside down umbrella or a V vase, and it was open on the top. Like, you could actually put little flowers in it, which was cool, but I mean, I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with it, but it was really neat, but I don't know. Anyway, um, that was the only three pins that were marked down at my store. So, like I said, I may try to run back maybe Tuesday or Wednesday and see if they're marking anything else down. Not that I really need anything else. But um, for these prices, it's hard to pass up, you know, when you can get things at really good prices like that. So, there's a lot. I can't fit everything in the shot. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite a long one. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked getting to take a peek at what I found. If you would, please give me a thumbs up, click on subscribe, click on notifications so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video, and I hope you get to get to go to Hobby Lobby and get you some good finds. So until the next video, guys, bye!